Hello, this is Susie Lawson and welcome to my new DVD, Artistic Portraits in Photoshop, which will be shipping on January the 15th, 2010. Um, many of you have bought my other DVDs and I want to share with you my latest techniques which are a little edgier than what you're familiar with. I've been experimenting more with textures, um, blend modes with textures and that type of thing to give a little more punch. Uh, I also still share some of my older techniques with you, the sort of Norman Rockwell watercolor and airbrush look. This is my cover image and this is one of my main lessons. Uh, this right here is a texture that I will use in one of my lessons which is the uh, Urban Michael picture. So not only will you be getting the lessons, of course you'll be getting all the resources that you need such as model image, texture overlays, um, brush, custom brushes, everything that I use in my videos you will also re receive on your resource disk. In this particular video you'll, you'll learn how to take pictures of textures, how to put them in your uh, Photoshop, and how to use layer blend modes. This also has airbrushing, painting, you can see the cross is painted here, how to enhance the hair, and how to grunge everything up. In this particular video, this is a picture of my daughter. The, this is more of what I'm known for. Those of you who are familiar with my work, you know that this is more uh, typical of what I've done throughout the years, and this is a lot of airbrushing, sort of the old illustrative, um, old magazine look. And in this, I've experimented with using a birthday wrap or gift wrap as a background. It's really uh, a neat idea and it really enhances the portrait as you can see. You also learn a lot about painting the hair. I'm going to take my time in this video and you'll learn a lot about painting hair, skin, eyes, and really give it a nice airbrush effect. In this picture of John, you're going to learn how to use a layer blend mode. Uh, this is a little different than using textures. This is actually using an image with a layer blend mode and then creating your own rain brush so that you can create an atmospheric weather condition in your portraits. And uh, this isn't a downloaded rain brush. I'm actually going to show you how to create your own. I think it's really important. I call it fishing in Photoshop where you can create your own brushes rather than borrowing or looking for them or buying them, you, you can create your own on the fly. It's an extremely important thing for you to learn. Now this one has a nice watercolor look and it's not as hard as you imagine it to be. Um, I've had a few people email and say how do I get a watercolor look in Photoshop and uh, mainly I've used spatter brushes here and custom brushes and airbrushing and you will learn exactly how I did this particular picture of Chris. This picture of Cassie Marie, many, many of you know that I use her in just about <laughs> everything I do. Cassie Marie is one of my little neighbor friends and she's been in my videos and in my portraits for about six years now. And here you'll learn how to use texturing, images. I actually took a picture of a gift bag and used this as a texture layer. Then you will learn how to take other images, airbrushing the hair, and adding a warm quality overall to the picture. This is a really kind of a fun video to do, a fun lesson, and you're going to learn quite a bit with this one. Let me get rid of these that I've already showed you. Okay, this, this is quite an extensive lesson here. I th think I had to use like three videos to cover this. Um, this goes into changing the backgrounds, taking a picture of a sky, changing the backgrounds. Um, again, many of you familiar with my work know that I love to use sky backgrounds in portraits. It also is going to cover cloning, which is to um, replace areas with the clone tool, how to fit a hat to her head, and use cloning to add this texture to the rest of the uh, clothing. We're going to take a candy cane and actually put it in her hand and you're going to learn to create your own hairbrush and use this in this portrait. 
how to enhance the skin. This also has a slight texture layer on it too, which really adds a nice vintage effect. So that's going to be a, a nice lesson for you. And back to the cover. Let me show you briefly some of the things. that These are some of the uh, backgrounds that are going to be on the resource disk. These are some of the brushes that I custom made that you will also learn to make yourself. Some of the other images that you will need with your models and of course all the model images that you will need for these lessons. So that's uh, Artistic Portraits in Photoshop. It's a brief overview and uh, those of you who have already purchased I really appreciate and those of you who have bought my other three thank you for coming back and staying continued interest in my work. I appreciate all of you guys so thank you so much. If you're interested in ordering this DVD and would like to know how to purchase it, I've actually had a few people email and say that they don't understand where it is or how to order it. All you need to do is go to my site, suzylawsonphotography.biz. When you get to the main page, the home page, just click on New DVD Release. And, of course, you will see the image, and right below it is the Buy Now button. Make sure that you scroll down and click on either Mac or PC which is very important. Um, the PC is going to be AVI video and the Mac is going to be QuickTime. So be sure that you find your operating system and you'll notice that there are other links here. There's DVD support. Um, there's also a page for my older lessons. There's a contact link where you can click on and email me with any questions that you have. I don't mind you emailing at all and ask any questions. There's no question that's too silly <laughs> for me. I don't uh, mind at all answering whatever you can think up. So please email me if you feel sort of tentative uh, about buying and you want to know more and the video wasn't uh, covering enough for you. Feel free to ask me anything. So that's my site and I'm also on Facebook and YouTube. Look me up in any of those areas. Feel free to join me on Facebook because I post a lot of updates about my photography and my lessons there and I will be doing online workshops in the future. So thank you so much for your uh, interest.